Ok, hai Assalamualaikum So, hari ni kita akan masuk topik 2 uh, Mechanical Wave Dan sebelum kita cerita mengenai um, Mechanical Wave ini Jom tengok satu video daripada YouTube So, ini awak kena dengar betul-betul sebab um, uh, Dia cakap English cep agak cepat So, kita sama-sama lah eh, dengar mengenai mechanical wave. This is a typical wave and waves form whenever there's a disturbance of some kind. Often when something about the physical world changes, the information about that disturbance gradually moves outwards, away from the source in every direction. And as the information travels, it makes a wave shape. Think about the disturbance you cause, for example, when you jump on a trampoline. When you hit the trampoline, the downward push that you create moves the material next to it down a little bit too. And the same goes for the material next to that, and so on. And while that information is traveling outward, the spot where your feet first hit the trampoline is already recovering, moving upward again because of the tension force in the trampoline. And that moves the area next to it upward too. This up and down motion gradually ripples outward, covering more and more of the trampoline. And the ripples take the shape of a wave. Waves are made up of peaks with crests, the bumps on the top, and troughs, the bumps on the bottom. They have an amplitude, which is the distance from the peaks to the middle of the wave. They also have a wavelength, which is the distance between crests, a full cycle of the wave and a frequency, which is how many of those cycles pass through a given point every second. Multiply the wavelength by the frequency and you get the wave speed, how fast it's going. And the wave speed only depends on the medium it's travelling through. That's why the speed of sound, which is a wave, doesn't depend on the sound itself. It doesn't matter how loud or quiet it is, it just depends on whether the sound is travelling through, say, air or water. Now there are four main kinds of waves, and we can use our rope to show the difference between some of them. A pulse wave is what happens when you move the end of the rope back and forth just one time. One lonely crest travels through the rope. That's the pulse. Then there's the continuous wave, which is what happens when you keep moving the rope back and forth. In that case, your hand is acting as an oscillator. Anything that causes an oscillation or vibration can create a continuous wave. Now, things that cause simple harmonic oscillation move in such a way that they create sinusoidal waves, meaning that if you plotted the waves on a graph, they'd look a lot like the graph of sine x. But the waves we've mainly been talking about so far are transverse waves, ones in which the oscillation is perpendicular to the direction that the wave is travelling in. When a wave travels along this rope, for example, the peaks are perpendicular to the rope's length. The same thing was mostly true for the waves that you made on the trampoline. The waves were travelling along its surface horizontally, but the peaks were vertical. But there's also longitudinal waves, where the oscillations happen in the same direction as the wave is moving. In the case of a longitudinal wave, the back and forth motion is more of a compression and expansion. These are the kinds of waves that you get by compressing and stretching a spring, and they're also the kinds by which sound travels, which we'll talk about more next time. But all waves, no matter what kind they are, have something in common. They transport energy as they travel. At a microscopic level, waves occur when the movement of one particle affects the particle next to it. And to make that next particle start moving, there has to be an energy transfer. But how can you tell how much energy a wave has? Well, remember that an object... Okay, sampai tu sahaja. Energy kita tak masuk. So, mechanical wave... Uh, macam nak cakap eh kita kita tengok beberapa ni lah kita ada definition definition of wave and and deformation types of wave and their properties so ada dua jenis uh, wave kat sini awak kena tahu transverse dan juga longitudinal dan cikgu rasa um, dua wave ni korang dah familiar cuma mungkin nak kena recall balik je lah Kemudian definition of amplitude, frequency, period, wavelength dan juga wave number. Ini pun um, kita dah tengok banyak pada uh, topik satu, simple harmonic motion. Dan ada satu, dua, tiga, yang keempat, awak perlu tahu dia punya progressive wave punya equation. Kita guna terms Y pula, Y equal to A sin omega T plus minus KX dan speed of wave V sama dengan Lambda frequency. Okay. Um, let's take a look at the meaning of mechanical wave. It's defined as a disturbance through a medium in which energy is transferred. So, dia adalah gangguan. Kenapa through a medium? Sebab um, mechanical wave dia tak ada dalam keadaan yang vacuum. So, medium ni tak kisahlah udara ke, uh, air ke, ataupun apa. 
air udara lah kan biasanya kan air dan juga water lah and um, detail lagi sikit the particles the particles dalam um, the particles yang yang menyebabkan ya macam cakap eh the particles oscillate around their equilibrium position but do not travel so bila wave ni bila wave tu bergerak contoh um, contoh yang tadi dia buat tadi tali tu tali yang bergerak tu yang ada pulse ke ada dia punya wave tu so dia dalam tu dia sebenarnya ada partikel-partikel tu yang bergerak tapi partikel bah sorry partikel tu oscillate uh, oscillate ataupun uh, kita kata dia vibrates lah dia dekat tempat dia je tapi uh, pergerakan partikel-partikel yang banyak tu menyebabkan um, satu menyebabkan wujudnya satu pergerakan wave lah uh, gelombang so example of mechanical wave uh, seperti water wave water wave ni macam ombak ataupun um, oh, ombak boleh lah ataupun awak campak batu dekat dalam air kan sound wave wave on the string rope wave in the spring and uh, earthquakes okay types of wave um, so ada dua transverse dan juga longitudinal Maksud transverse is a wave in which the direction of vibration of the particle is perpendicular to the direction of the wave propagation. Um, particle tu, direction of vibration tu maksudnya yang ni lah, yang merah ni. Contoh kalau gambar tadi tu, yang menyebabkan uh, tali tu boleh, tu kan tangan dia ada oscillator tu kat situ kan. So, pergerakannya adalah secara um, vertical, atas bawah, vertical. Tapi kalau awak lihat, um, dia punya wave ni akan bergerak ke arah macam ni lah. So maksudnya, wave itu propagate. Propagate itu adalah dia dia propagate. Dia bergerak. Dia tak dia tak kata move. Um, bahasa bahasa Melayu ni cakap tak sure. Tapi propagate tu kayaknya dia, dia, dia travel lah. Kira dia travel. Dia travel macam tu. Okay. Um, so ini adalah transverse wave um, perpendicular direction of vibration is perpendicular with the propagation dan contohnya transverse wave are water wave wave on the string um, electromagnetic wave dan juga etc biasanya dua ni je kita lihat water wave dan juga uh, dalam string. Longitudinal wave pula is a wave in which the direction of vibration of the particle is parallel to the direction of the wave propagation. Ada kat sini dia kata wave speed lah kenapa sebab propagation itu menyebabkan uh, menunjukkan arah gerakan wave tu lah kat arah gerak kat propagate kat arah sini so dia punya dia punya speedingnya pun kat arah sini lah. Dia kata lebih pada magnitude lah dia kata wave speed kan. Kemudian um, kalau tengok video tadi tu macam yang uh, dia buat macam tu tu pergerakannya yang oscillator tu secara horizontal dan tali tu pun dia bergerak macam tu. Kalau nak senang cerita pergerakan um, lagi tu dia macam um, cacing lah cacing. Cacing bergerak dia ada compress, the compress pun dia stretch, the compress dia stretch, the compress dia stretch. So, dia punya vibration itu adalah secara uh, horizontal dan pergerakannya pun bergerak pada horizontal. Kalau long uh, transverse, transverse macam apa eh? Hmm, macam pergerakan ular, transverse macam ular. Dia bergerak macam tu kan, dia bergerak macam tu. So, kalau tengok dari segi atas daripada top view, so badan dia uh, Pergerakannya tu crash dengan trough tu uh, secara vertikal lah kalau top view. Tapi ular tu bergerak ke hadapan. So tu contoh untuk transverse dan lagi tu dia macam pergerakan cacing lah. Okay so ni uh, explanation tadi. Um, dan nak tunjuk apa ni? Uh, dia nak tunjuk pergerakan dekat mana dia punya crash dan dia punya Uh, oh sorry, dia punya compression dan juga refraction. Refraction tu dia punya macam pengembangan lah. Compression tu dia dia compress lah kan. 
ok um, tadi pun dah explain tadi pergerakan itu akan, akan menjadi satu bentuk sinusoidal kenapa dia kata sinusoidal sebab kalau tengok macam katakan bentuk graf dia seperti graf sin lah sebab itu ok now kita go to go through um, definition untuk wavelength is defined as a distance between two consecutive particles point which have the same phase in a wave um, contoh figure B mana figure B tadi kan eh? eh, sorry figure 2.5 so dekat sini yang ada same phase dekat sini adalah antara point um, dekat sini yang simple B um, kita tukar B dan juga C so ini kita kata same phase tu dia ada pasal yang sama so uh, B dengan C ataupun S dengan P ataupun uh, P dan juga Q dekat situ so um, as I need untuk wavelength lah meter standard lah guna line kan period pula ini recap saja. as simple harmonic motion pun awak dah belajar pasal ni period is, a, is a defined as a time taken for a particle in the point in the wave to complete one cycle ataupun time taken to complete one cycle one cycle dia ada 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 few terms yang, yang sama cycle, revolution dan juga rotation sama lah maksudnya satu pusingan satu pusingan, satu pusingan so in this period T the wave profile move a distance of one wavelength Thus, the period of the wave sama dengan period of the particle of the wave. And T sama dengan 1 over uh, frequency juga. So, you need second lah untuk period. Frequency, number of complete wavelength produced in one second. So, frequency dalam satu saat, berapa pusingan dia boleh buat? Itu frequency. Ini hertz. Formulanya hertz ataupun S negative 1 eh. S negative 1. Please remember. Amplitude is defined as a maximum displacement from the equilibrium position to the crest or trough of the wave motion. So, um, yang ni pun uh, cikgu nak terang, uh, nak stresskan banyak, maximum displacement, eh, maximum displacement. So, katakanlah macam simpah harmonic motion tu, awinan bandul tu. So, inilah equilibrium position. Equilibrium position, so... Berapa jauh dia boleh swing itu, itulah dia punya maximum displacement. Namanya, nama lainnya lah amplitude. Okay. Um, wave speed pula is defined as a distance travel by a wave profile per unit time. So, dekat sini um, kita ambil satu lambda ni. Satu lambda, satu wavelength. Dan masanya lah T dekat situ. So, V sama dengan distance over time. So, V sama dengan lambda over T. Distance dia akan jadi lambda lah. Wavelength dia tu lah. And T, uh, 1 over F. Thus, V equals to lambda frequency. V equals to F lambda kan biasanya kan. Kalau cikgu lah, my, my remember V equals to F lambda. Tak kisah lah, sama lah. Lambda F ke F lambda ke. As I unit dia, guna meter, meter second meter per second dan wave speed is constant so kalau dia wave tu bergerak dengan 10 ms negative 1 so dia bergerakkan 10 je lah macam tu lah maksud dia ok ini um, shows a periodic sinusoidal wave propagates in a medium passing through particles of the medium in time t so bergerakkan dia sahaja kat situ lah uh, ya yeah. dan dekat sini kita guna uh, y untuk displacement dan juga X adalah distance. Berbeza dia. So dalam uh, mechanical wave, uh, displacement ini lebih kepada um, partikel itu yang oscillate. Partikel itu. Contoh, um, contoh, contoh, contohlah partikel, partikel dekat sini, partikel P. Alam, macam mana cakap eh? Um, contoh kat sini P ni, P ni partikel lah kiranya P ni partikel so dia, dia oscillate ke atas dan ke bawah so pergerakan uh, oscillation itu uh, displacement in terms of displacement dia bergerak atas bawah atau bawah tu lah dia punya displacement for particle tapi X ni distance ini uh, distance wave itu travel 
Um, nanti kalau ada video yang tunjuk detail mengenai pergerakan partikel dalam dalam tu nanti cikgu share eh. Tadi tak jumpa lah pula. Uh, tak teringat bukan tak jumpa tak teringat nak cari. Ataupun uh, kalau kau dalam kelas biasanya cikgu buat. Uh, pernah, korang pernah tengok tak? Um, apa panggil? Mexican wave eh. Dekat stadium ramai-ramai orang tu Kan dia orang macam dapat kata gol Dan apa yang dia buat, dia buat Mexican wave eh Mexican wave ke apalah So um, Penonton tu dia tak, bang, dia tak bergerak pun Dia tak propagate pun Dia tak propagate Dia bergerak tapi secara vertikal Atas bawah uh, Dia bergerak secara vibration Vibration vertically So kiranya katakan dia bangun ke ataupun dia angkat tangan je ke So dia macam ok katakan line sini semua ok line up, uh, semua angkat tangan Then dia angkat turun sebelah pula angkat turun angkat turun kan So apa yang awak nampak nanti akan nampak satu bentuk wave kan formation of wave Kenapa sebab partikel itu dia vibrate So banyak partikel dia vibrate even dia tak propagate partikel itu Partikel itu vibrate at its own place sahaja secara vertikal Um, atau bawah atau bawah tapi bila banyak partikel yang vi yang vibrate uh, dia akan nampak satu bentuk wave so wave itu propagate tu awak nampak dia punya gelombang tu lah so, itu wave so x itu um, x itu untuk distance untuk wave lah eh. wave itu yang propagate kalau y ini displacement for the particle dalam wave itu yang vibrate atas bawah. Okay, itu konklusinya. <coughs> eh. Okay, displacement Y. Uh, is distance, a distance move by a particle from its equilibrium position <coughs> at every point along a wave. So, ni yang tadi cikgu cakap tu lah. <coughs> Dah ada wave number. For this, ada satu pertambahan. Wave number K. K equals to 2 pi over lambda. Ini dia punya definition dia. Dia tak ada dia tak ada sebarang ayat untuk define dia lah. Dia define as 2 pi over lambda. So since 2 pi tak ada unit uh, dan lambda adalah uh, dia punya wave length. Unit adalah meter. So K so K unitnya adalah meter per second. Meter per second, meter negative one, one over m. 